All right, so now I'll uh, walk you through a five minute uh, elevated plus mace test video uh, with one of the uh, compulsive like mice. And I'll point out when the animal uh, enters an open uh, arm or when it uh, leaves it. And you'll find that some of the animals just never actually go onto to the um, open arms. And uh, they stay within the um, uh, covered arms or they um, stay within the central arena. In any case, um, let's just start. I'll uh, put this bar. Let me see. You move that a little bit out of the way. All right, let me start. Okay, so at two uh, seconds, the animal was put in on the maze, and you can see that it immediately went into um, the closed arm. You can see that the animal has a little bit of a scabbing on its flanks here due to the uh, subcutaneous injections that the animals um, that cause a little bit of irritation. So you can see the animal is exploring the elevated plus maze. Um, and taking its time. Now what you'll see is that a lot of animals actually do this. They stick to Paws out, they look, they stick their head out, but they don't really go out. Now this one may, nope, see it went back. So it never actually went onto the open arm because all four paws have to be on the open arm. Um, and, and that's just so that we know that the entire body of the animal is on the open arm. Um, you can see that it's, it moves very quickly when it's within the closed arms, but then when it gets to an open arm, it becomes much more cautious. And here it's almost on the open arm. Now it's on the open arm. All right. And now it's off. So all four paws have to be off the open arm once the animal is on the open arm. So this animal spent a few seconds on the open arm, which is good. Now it's defecating a bit here, and it's grooming a bit, so it's a little anxious here. Um, as I uh, had written in the uh, previous module, um, as well as in this one, um, you know, the more fecal boli are produced, usually the more stressful and anxious the animal is. And also grooming is an indication that the animal is a little uh, under stress. And you can see that when it decides to move, it moves very quickly within the uh, closed arm. But then when it gets to an open area, it, uh, it, it becomes very cautious. And that's a very similar thing that you can see uh, among all the animals you'll be uh, collecting data on. And of course, I'm sitting in the back here behind the camera and just just silently, you know, sitting really quietly, but silently encouraging this mouse to please get on the open arm. I want you to get on the open arm. So anyway, um, and sometimes they would go out like really far. Okay, now it's on the open arm. It has all four paws on the open arm. And look at that. It's exploring it a little bit. That is awesome. Almost fell off and off the open arm. And on the open arm. All right. This guy is doing something. Look at that. It's going all the way to the end. And uh, so your, your stopwatch should be counting all this time. You can see it's, uh, it's quite cautious. And it's off the open arm. And now back into the closed arm. So uh, you can see that uh, this... Uh, this animal actually spends a, a little bit of time on the open arms, and that is uh, a, an indication that it's not as anxious um, as it could be, because if it were really anxious, it would either sit quietly in a covered uh, arm or only spend exploration time in the, uh, the closed arms. But uh, anyway, all right, let's see. 
So um, you will see that a lot when the animals are in the central area. They stick out their head, they look around, but they don't really go out. Um, and a lot of animals do that. So remember that only when the animal has all four paws in the open arm is it on an open arm. When it then leaves, all the four paws have to leave um, um, to de designate the, the end of the time on the open arm. Uh, this is just something I reiterate because I want all of you to do it exactly the same. And here you can see again that the animal is sort of thinking about it, but deciding, eh, maybe not. Let me see how we're doing on the time. We're, we're about done with the time. So there it is. I am uh, picking up the animal by the base of the tail, and that's the end of the test. So remember that the time, so it, it got onto the elevated plus maze at zero two. So you should stop your measurement at 502, even though I may take a few extra seconds to remove the animal from the elevated plus maze. All right. Good luck with the data collection.